हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर एसिड्स बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट्स टुडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू अबाउट न्यूट्रलाइजेशन चिल्ड्रन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट फिनोथलीन इज अ केमिकल इंडिकेटर एंड व्हेन वी पुट इट इन एन एसिडिक सॉल्यूशन इट रिमेंस कलरलेस एंड व्हेन वी पुट इट इन अ बेस इट गिव्स पिंक कलर सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन and for that i am explaining an experiment by the help of this figure see children here in a test tube we have taken an acid this is hcl that is hydrochloric acid and added a little amount of phenolphthalein also in it which is an indicator and you all know that this indicator remains colorless in acidic solution so we have a mixture of acid and phenolphthalein and it is colorless now we add sodium hydroxide drop by drop into this and you know children what will happen when we put one drop of naoh in this and as it touches the surface it will come in the contact of phenolphthalein also so it will turn pink for a while but soon that pink color will disappear and then again we put naoh the similar thing will happen so again and again we are adding sodium hydroxide that is a base but that pink color is not observed although we are adding some base into it so where is that base going away what is happening to that see children the effect of that base is cancelled because of this acid now we add more and more sodium hydroxide into it and a stage will come that as the drop of naoh is put into this the pink color appears and it remains there in the solution that pink color is retained by the solution now why it has happened if pink color is there it means there is no acid now because if had it there been acid it would have remained colorless children actually what happened when we were adding sodium hydroxide that is base into it acid was cancelling the effect of naoh or acid was neutralizing the base at the same time the base was also neutralizing the acid so when we added more and more amount of sodium hydroxide it also neutralized the acid and when whole of the acid got neutralized the base showed its effect and then we could see that pink color as the base came in contact of this phenolphthalein indicator what has happened here a neutralization reaction children in this reaction whenever an acid and a base are mixed together they try to cancel each other's effect and we can say that they neutralize each other and as a result a salt and water is formed and also heat is produced here this test tube also becomes hot and such a reaction in which heat is produced or reaction mixture becomes hot is called exothermic reaction children if the reaction mixture becomes cold that reaction is called endothermic reaction but neutralization is an exothermic reaction and see children here uh, with the heat i have also drawn a small triangle here this is called delta it is a greek alphabet and it represents heat so children in a neutralization reaction acid and base react and form salt and water along with the evolution of heat well whatever reaction has taken place here i have written it in the form of chemical equation see this one hcl hydrochloric acid plus naoh that was sodium hydroxide and the salt which was formed here because of this reaction uh, it was sodium chloride plus h2o that is water plus this delta that is heat was produced have a look at another example this time i am telling you first of all the word equation not the chemical equation the names are written sulfuric acid 
plus calcium hydroxide that means acid plus base and then salt and water are formed which salt is formed here calcium sulfate plus heat is also produced now let us have a look at its chemical equation for sulfuric acid i have written h2so4 for calcium hydroxide caoh whole twice and the salt caso4 that is calcium sulfate plus h2o and heat is produced see children here this is a strong acid and this is a strong base so whenever neutralization reaction takes place between the two they completely neutralize each other and as a result the salt which is formed here sodium chloride is a neutral salt and in this case sulfuric acid is a strong acid but calcium hydroxide is a weak base as a result when neutralization reaction takes place the acidity of sulfuric acid is not completely neutralized as a result this acidic nature is retained by the salt and the salt which is formed is acidic salt so children we can say that when acid is strong and base is weak the salt will be acidic salt similarly if we take strong base and weak acid then what will happen i am showing it with the help of an example see children let us take zinc hydroxide and carbonic acid it is znoh whole twice and carbonic acid is h2co3 it is a weak acid now if we compare them we will find that it is a weak acid and comparatively it is a strong base so what will happen the salt which will be formed will be a basic salt water will be formed plus heat will also be generated children here i have not balanced this equation balancing of equation you will understand later so we can say that in any neutralization reaction definitely a salt is formed along with water and that salt can be neutral salt or acidic salt or basic salt depending on whether the acid or base which we have taken are strong or weak so i hope your understanding about neutralization is clear now let me tell you about some applications of neutralization reaction in our day to day life children uh, in our stomach there is an acid called hydrochloric acid and when we have indigestion problem maybe more hydrochloric acid is formed some kind of constipation is there in that case we take certain medicines like digene is taken it is a tablet then gelucil syrup is taken or maybe we take eno powder after dissolving it in water see children all these are antacids that means they are anti to the acids or they cancel the effect of acids or we can say that all of them are basic in nature and one of the important bases which is found in all of these is magnesium hydroxide which we call as milk of magnesia also gelucil also contains aluminum hydroxide so when these medicines enter our stomach they neutralize the acid present in the stomach and whatever acidity problem we have whatever irritation we are feeling in the stomach we get relief from that because of the neutralization reaction another application see children and strain contains one acid called formic acid and whenever and bites us it injects formic acid into our skin its formula is hcooh we feel pain in the skin and we need some base to neutralize it so that we can get relief what we can do we can apply calamine lotion which contains zinc carbonate salt and you know that it is a basic salt or we can say it is basic in nature 
we can even wash it with the soap because soap is also basic in nature. Even we can apply a paste of baking soda on that ant sting and that will also give us relief. It is called neutralization. Now next is treatment of soil. See children, farmers grow crops in the soil. And if the soil is too acidic or too basic, the crop production is affected. And how can farmers find out whether the soil is acidic or basic? What they can do, they can dissolve soil in water, shake it well, filter it. Whatever filtrate they get, that can be tested by using some indicator. If the soil is too acidic, it should be treated with some base. For example, calcium oxide that is quicklime or tuna. It is a white colored powder. It can be sprinkled in the field, in the soil to treat the acidic nature of soil. Also, if this calcium oxide is added in water, it forms calcium hydroxide, which we call as liquid lime, and it can be sprayed in the field that will also treat the acidic soil. But in case soil is basic, children, we don't directly add any acid to that. The best option is add manure into the soil. That manure releases some acids and they cure the basic nature of soil. Now next is about factory waste. In the factories, many products are formed and from factories, a dirty water that is called sewage comes out and mostly the sewage is acidic in nature and when that dirty water is allowed to fall into the nearby drains or the nearby lakes or rivers, it affects the aquatic life the fish which are living there or other aquatic organisms, their life gets endangered. So it is better to treat this factory waste and before releasing it, some basic substance is added to that to neutralize the effect of that acidic content. And as a result, the factory waste is treated. One more example I want to give you. Uh, children, you all have heard of uh, cavity in the tooth. We can also call it as dental caries. If you eat sugary and starchy food uh, that is stuck between your teeth, bacteria grow more and more there. Actually bacteria are already there in your mouth and when more sugary and starchy food is there, they grow more in number, multiply more and as a result they also produce acids and this acid can break your teeth. First of all, it breaks the outer covering of your tooth, that is enamel, and then it forms a hole in the tooth breaking it. And we call it as cavity in the tooth. It is all because of the acid. So children, what we do to avoid it? Every day, we use toothpaste, which contains base, and it keeps on neutralizing the acid. So you see children, neutralization reaction has got so many applications in our day-to-day -day life. Actually, the science is always very closely related to your life. So keep appreciating science and keep improving your life by the knowledge of science. Good day to you all.